Hey guys, I'm Mary Lou, and this is take 6,742. Turning into my first YouTube video, I am pulling my hair out trying to figure out all the different ways this is supposed to work. I have the script, I've got everything polished, I've tried and tried and tried to make it look perfect, but guess what? I would never get this done if I kept striving for perfection. And they always say the worst is the first, so once we get this out of the way, things should get better. So what I'm going to talk about today is how we became full-timers. Now, my husband works from home, and he telecommuted for the better part of a year. And when we were young, we always dreamed about having our own RV and traveling the, the United States and seeing all those things that most couples dream about doing. And the opportunity presented itself for us to finally be in a position to do that, so we jumped on it. We took the chance, and we ran. We've raised three beautiful children. We've got nine great grandbabies. And uh, now that they're all out and on their own, we, we uh, finally pulled the trigger and, and made our dream come true. Now, as I said, my husband telecommutes, so he works anywhere we have internet. So wherever there's home, or wherever there's internet, we're home. So uh, that works out really well. And we travel with a 60-pound English bulldog named Lola. And she's a four-legged furry toddler. Um, and she's really an integral part of our living the dream team and and it's just I can't imagine without her and uh, let's see if you're thinking about going full-time there's some things you have to consider you have to look at your lifestyle the way that you live now and take a good hard look at your budget and see if uh, you're living like most folks at the very edge or even above our means. For us, we took a very hard look at our current budget before we jumped in and started full-timing. We downsized from a 2,600 square foot home and we paid $1,600 a month in mortgage, which was insanity. Uh, with that came $400 electric bill, $120 water bill, $120 cable bill, we had $60 for home internet, our truck payment, our insurance. It was just, by the time it was all said and done, we were looking at about $4,500 a month uh, just breaking even. That was no fun money or no going and doing anything or, or, you know, so it was really starting to stretch our mental wherewithal. Now, some people may say, well, that was a bargain, and other people may say, good God, that was nuts. And in our case, it was crazy. It was nuts. So, now that we've done what we've done, we're able to save a little bit, and our view changes out of our back window every day if we want. Uh, usually when we travel, we stay between one week and a month in a place so that we can explore and see all of the things that the area has to offer. Currently, we're in Pennsylvania in this beautiful campground, um, and we're visiting family, but we have been on the road seven months, we spent three of those months in our home state of Texas trying to get our feet wet, didn't want to stray too far from home. Uh, we stayed on the coast down at uh, Port Aransas and down in South Texas in Seguin. And then we moved up and went to uh, Hot Springs, Arkansas, which was really great. We stayed there for a month and went on to Cave City, Kentucky, visited the Mammoth Cave National Park. We went to West Virginia, which was just, we'd never been, so it was very breathtaking. And made our way up here to Pennsylvania. And we'll be here for another couple of weeks and visiting family before we start making our trek south. Now, there's so many things to, to do. You could run right out and buy the first RV that you get. Uh, I'm going to do this without any research, but that is very rarely going to work out for you. Always do your research. Get a three-ring binder, 
uh, with some clear sheet protectors and put together your dream book. Keep every question written down. Keep um, flyers from rigs that you've looked at, uh, online uh, information, and do your research. And part of this uh, YouTube channel that I'm starting will hopefully help those who are considering it or new to it, um, you know, get be part of their research. For those who um, have been on the road for years and, and live and travel and work that have all the answers, um, keep in mind they have all the answers for them. And they're still learning. I'm still learning. I've only been on the road six months and um, I'm still learning every day. But just keep in mind when you listen to all of the videos and, and you talk to other people that their situation is not going to be your situation. You have to find ways to make the compromise um, for certain things and it may be something you are willing to live with or without and that's a personal decision. That's something you've got to decide. If you uh, are considering buying new, I would say go to every RV dealership you can get your hands on. Look them up, spend a weekend, uh, on the weekends go travel around and look. When you walk in that door, that salesman's not expecting you to sign on the dotted line. He's not saying you have to buy to look or, no, you just tell him, I'm doing my research, we're considering buying an RV and we want to see what's available. Nine times out of ten, they're not going to give you any problems. They're going to say, sure, go ahead, take a look. If you have any questions, let me know. Don't feel awkward. Don't feel like, you know, you have to be uh, ready to sign on the dotted line in order to even go look. Um, look at new, look at used, look at everything. And before you sign and you decide, this is the one I want, to live, I want. I, 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 it fits my needs, I have to have it, do a final walkthrough. Um, go home and sleep on it. If you're buying used, never buy used without an, an inspection. Seriously, look at the propane lines, look at the water lines, check on uh, this, the roof to make sure there was no leaks, no warping in the walls, no soft spots in the floors. Crawl underneath it, look at your axles, look at your leaf springs if it's buried in the mud. Buying used has its advantages, and that's the number one thing I hear from most people is that went out and bought new. Man, I wish I would have bought used. Well, that has its pros and it has its cons. If you buy a used unit, you can paint those cabinets, put in a new floor, um, do whatever you want to it, and it doesn't really affect the resale value. However, in our case, with our coach, if you buy brand new, you're stuck with the poop brown, I like to call it, uh, interior, and you can't really change out anything or put holes in the walls because it affects the resale value and it will narrow your scope for future buyers if you intend on selling it down the road. So research, research, research. Um, you know, you're going to go, you're going to want to talk to people about this. You're going to want to talk to your friends and your family and, and you may not even decide to go full time. It may just be weekend warriors or yearly vacations and, and that's great. That's a perfect place to start. Uh, once you get your rig I suggest automatically boom go out that first weekend and camp somewhere. Do a dry run. If you can do a week, do a week and see how it fits. See what you need to take along. See what you don't. One of the biggest questions I get is what do you do about storage? Um, and I'll cover that in a later blog. Um, what do you do about health insurance or what do you do about residency or internet and those are all things that can be covered in their own separate videos and I will take I will take the time to do that and again I said it's different for everybody just knowing where you stand and what your needs are is the starting point you need to tailor everything around your needs it can be done it can be done for as little as six seven seven hundred dollars a month um, it could be done for cheaper than that I've actually heard people that uh, boondock they have rigs set up that they use generators and solar power and wind power and they camp on BLM land and their only real expense is food water and gas um, so you can go very minimal 
with this. Or you can go out and buy, you know, a $250,000 Class A diesel pusher that has all the bells and whistles and stay in the highest campgrounds. And there is room for everybody in the RV lifestyle. As a matter of fact, during my research, I found that in 2017, the Recreational Vehicles Industry Association says that um, as of 2017, there are some 9 million RVs on the road. That's 9 million RVs on the road. And 355,000 every year are purchased. Now, that doesn't sound like much, but when you break it down, that's almost 973 rigs every day hitting the road. So, campgrounds have really got to step up their game, and we've got to have more... Uh, choices and options as RVers, whether part-time or full-time. Um, look for out-of-the-way mom-and-the-pop shops that aren't real big. We've been very lucky in finding those. Uh, we're not big KOA campers or big escapee campers, but um, I'm sure those times will come, and I'm sure that we'll use them at some point. But right now we've been very happy with the way that, that uh, things have fallen for us. Now, before I wrap up, I just want to tell you there's some good membership cards and deals that you can look for. Um, and I'll tell you the ones we have. We have the KOA. We do not have the KOA. The KOA is a value card. It's a reward system. And it's $30 a year. And it's called the VKR. And they give you 10% off of your KOA stay. And it's not much. It's really not. The KOA, I noticed, has ranged. These independent uh, campgrounds that are in the KOA network, they range between $35, $40 a night all the way up to $65 and $70 a night. Um, so it's not much, but you do get fuel discounts and there's store benefits. You get 30% off the Camping World store. Um, uh, pull the brain part. The Camping World inventory, like if you go shopping at Camping World for things in their store, you get 30% off. Um, they also have RV trip planning online and uh, a mailing service that they offer as well, and then their prescriptions, which is good. So there are a lot of groups and memberships um, available to RVers, whether you're full-time or part-time. I would say, again, do your research. Um, you know, all of the links that I've talked about, will be in the description box below and I hope this has really been helpful It's my first video blog so you know the first is always the worst so we've gotten this one out of the way and it is what it is and I hope it's helped thanks for letting me be part of your research and uh, make sure you like and subscribe and you'll get notifications for future videos if you have any questions Leave them in the comments below. And thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Keep on living the dream.